Mr and Mrs Brown first met Paddington on a railway platform. In fact, that was how he came to have such an unusual name for a bear, for Paddington was the name of the station. The Browns were there to meet their daughter, Judy, who was coming home from school for the holidays. It was a warm summer day and the station was crowded with people on their way to the seaside. Trains were humming, loudspeakers blaring, porters rushing about shouting at one another. And altogether there was so much noise that Mr Brown, who saw him first, had to tell his wife several times before she understood. A bear? On Paddington Station? Mrs Brown looked at her husband in amazement. Don't be silly, Henry, there can't be. Mr Brown adjusted his glasses. But there is, he insisted. I distinctly saw it, over there, near the bicycle rack. It was wearing a funny kind of hat. Without waiting for a reply, he caught hold of his wife's arm and pushed her through the crowd, round a trolley laden with chocolate and cups of tea, past a bookstall and through a gap in a pile of suitcases towards the lost property office. There you are, he announced triumphantly, pointing towards a dark corner. I told you so. Mrs Brown followed the direction of his arm and dimly made out a small furry object in the shadows. It seemed to be sitting on some kind of suitcase and around its neck there was a label with some writing on it. The suitcase was old and battered, and on the side, in large letters, were the words, Wanted on Voyage. Mrs Brown clutched at her husband. Why, Henry, she exclaimed, I believe you were right after all. It is a bear. She peered at it more closely. It seemed a very unusual kind of bear. It was brown in colour, a rather dirty brown, and it was wearing a most odd-looking hat with a wide brim, just as Mr Brown had said. From beneath the brim, two large round eyes stared back at her. Seeing that something was expected of it, the bear stood up and politely raised its hat, revealing two black ears. Good afternoon, it said in a small, clear voice. Um, good afternoon, replied Mr Brown doubtfully. There was a moment of silence. The bear looked at them inquiringly. Can I help you? Mr Brown looked rather embarrassed. Well, uh, no, uh, as a matter of fact, we were wondering if we could help you. Mrs Brown bent down. You're a very small bear, she said. The bear puffed out its chest. I'm a very rare sort of bear, he replied importantly. There aren't many of us left where I come from. And where is that? asked Mrs Brown. The bear looked round carefully before replying, Darkest Peru, I'm not really supposed to be here at all. I'm a stowaway. <laughs>